Welcome viewers. I want to take you through this indices question. It looks a, a simple question by the look of it, but it needs a lot of thinking for you to solve it. When you look at uh, this is 4 power of x plus 6 power of x plus 9 power of uh, x. You see there is no common, you cannot raise them into common power. If they have common powers, yes, but it cannot have a common case. Because here you can have a common uh, base of 3, that is 3 squared. Here you can, you can have a base of 2 squared, but you cannot have a base. So there is no common base so that you can... If this was also like, um, if this was 2 power x and this is 4 power x, uh, equaling to maybe 8, 8 power x, then it could have worked. Because you could have arranged them to bases of 2 or 2. But it, uh, still it's uh, okay, because you can solve it. What you do, let us divide by 4 power x, we divide by 4 power x, we divide by 4 power x all of them. So when you do this one, this will cancel and will remain with 1, plus this is 6 all over 4, this is power x, power x, uh, uh, let me just retain it, power x, power x, which is equal to, uh, this also becomes 9 over 4, that is the power of x, and the power of x. Now what you do, uh, at this level, we understand that uh, A or all over B power M power N is the same as A all over B power of N. So if we use that concept here, this one would be 1 plus uh, 6 over 4, um, it is the same as 3 over 2, it is 3 over 2 power of X, we have a common power. So which is equal to this one now I can have with 3 squared. 3 squared is the same as 9. So 3 squared, 3 squared all over 3 power 2x all over, this is 2 squared, uh, 2 squared times that is 2, 2 power 2x. And remember I have said that 1 plus now 3 over 2 power of x which is equal to 3 over 2 power of 2x. Because I've shown you from this principle you are able to do that. Now from there, from there, what you do next is um, we let we let uh, three over two power of x to be equal to n elector. We let it to be equal to m. Then that means I will be having one plus. Uh, this is now we replace with m. It will be one plus m equals two. This is m squared because it is two instead of uh, just x. It is two x. So it is m squared equals to m squared. We rearrange this, we take this, it will be minus m minus 1 equals to 0. So that is an equal, a quadratic equation, m squared minus m minus 1 equals to 0. So in that quadratic equation, we need to solve that quadratic equation. You can use the formula method, whereby we say x equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. If we use the same to simplify, that is m squared minus m minus 1 equals to 0. So our b in this case is uh, negative 1. So minus minus 1 is positive 1. So our m equals to positive 1 plus or minus the square root of this square, that is 1 squared, is 1, that is minus 4 times a is 1 times minus 1, it becomes positive 4, plus 4 all over 2a, all over 2a, that is 2 times 1 is 2. So our m equals 2, 1 plus or minus the square root of 5, all over 2. So our m will be equal to um, 1 plus or minus the square root of, um, square root of 5 we get is, uh, square root of 5 we get is, uh, 2.236 all over 2. So if we take the negative, the negative, so m would be equal, we take the positive, it is 3.236, 3.236, uh, three, that is 1 plus this becomes 3.236 divided by 2, divided by 2, you get it as 1.618. That is the value of m. All m becomes negative. When you subtract, you divide by 2, it's a negative 0. Point. That is uh, because you get 
you get um, uh, 1 minus 1 minus 2.36 you get divided by 2 you get negative 0 0.68 negative 0 0.68 now if you deal with that remember we had uh, uh, our x we shall ignore the negative for the reason that um, we are introducing the logarithm in this case because we know that m m equals to 3 over 2 power x so that means whenever we have an m we put this so it implies that uh, 3 over 2 3 over 2 power of x equals to now 1.618 you also say all of all this 3 over 2 power x equals to negative that Remember we are introducing an algorithm, and algorithm with that we have a problem, so you ignore know that. So we deal with this one, we introduce logarithm with both sides, we say, say that x, we bring x, this rows of logarithm, x log of 1.5 equals to log 1.618, so that uh, to get our x equals to log 1.618 out of a log 1.5. This gives you one point. You divide by that using your calculator the direct, so you get one one point one eight seven. One point one point one eight seven. So that becomes the approximate value of x. The approximate value of x is one point one eight seven. One point one eight seven. So that is the simplest way you could have solved it. What to see another scenario? A question like this one. A question like this one, number two, you are given it is three. Remember here the bases are the same. But even if the bases are the same, um, this one you cannot express the base of uh, uh, three. Because base of three power five is 243. So 246 you cannot express the base of three. So still we can do the same, but in this case it is easier because we can express this. Remember the loss of logarithm analysis. This is um, that means if this was multiplied, there was a multiplication here of 3 because we know 3, if we talk about 3 power a times 3 power b is the same as 3 power a plus b so we go back now to here we go back to here and therefore this becomes 3 power 4x times 3 power 4 then plus 3 power 4x equals to 246 so from here, 3 power 4, you get uh, the value of uh, 3 power of 4, you use your calculator, direct, you get it as uh, 3 power of 4, 3 power 4, you get is uh, 81, so it is 81, so that means it, uh, you get 81 y plus uh, y equals to 2 for 6, because uh, we have said that uh, 3 to power of uh, 4x equals to y, and therefore this, this is eta 1, so eta 1y plus y equals to 2 for 6, and therefore eta 1 plus y, you get uh, eta, eta 2y equals to 2 for 6, divided by eta 2, divided by eta 2, and therefore our y equals to, we divide by, you get 3. So if you get 3, our y is 3, we replace our y with uh, so it implies that uh, 3 power 4x equals to y, which is 3. 3 we can raise it to power 1. 3 power 1 uh, is the same as 3. And therefore, it implies that um, now that the base are the same, the powers are the same. And therefore, uh, 4x equals to 1. And the x equals to 1 over 4. So we divide by 4 all through. So that is, you see, those are different, two different scenarios. And finally, if you understand them, you are able to get these answers correct. That one, the first scenario, you must have introduced uh, logarithm. You had no option. You could have introduced logarithm from the start in the first scenario, or introduced where I uh, introduced it. Thank you for listening, and sure you subscribe.